Okay, so let's not beat around the bush. We both know the reason that you're here. You're either here because you're beginning to lose your hair and you're thinking about shaving it off, or maybe you've still got those training wheels on. You've been rocking that buzz cut for a little while and now you're ready to graduate to a full-fledged blade. So today, I'm gonna give you some very simple but essential tips that you can apply to your head shaving routine to ensure your head shave is not only efficient, but that you remain safe and free of any irritation. Number one, if this is the first time you're shaving your head, or if you've shaved your head previously and you have any more than say, four days worth of stubble growth, do not, I repeat, do not go straight for the blade. You're gonna wanna ensure that you use an electric trimmer or a good set of clippers to get those long lengthy hairs off first. The thing is, even when you have just a bit of length to your hair, you can actually risk getting your hair caught in the blade, which will in return pull on your scalp. And take it from me, that shit ain't pleasant. I know, sometimes head shaving can be a little long, a little time consuming, but taking that 10 extra minutes just to get those lengthy hairs off first, it'll make all the difference in ensuring that you get the job done safely when you do use the blade. So yeah, if this is your first head shave, or if you have any more than three or four days of stubble growth, firstly use the clippers, shorten it down, and then move on to the blade. Number two, always start by shaving with the grain. With the grain? With the grain. Now if you're new to head shaving, then I'm pretty sure you're not going to know what shaving with the grain means. Basically, shaving with the grain means that you're shaving downwards towards the direction of your hairline. So for example, for the front of my head, I'd be shaving downwards like this. Okay, so you're wondering, what purpose does that serve? It assures that your head shave is a lot more smooth and comfortable, and also it's great for people who have sensitive skin. And once you've done this, what we're going to move on to is shaving against the grain. Against the grain pretty much means the opposite of what we just done. So this time we're going upwards in the direction away from the hairline. So essentially the technique we used with the grain, but in reverse. Ugh, clearly I needed a prop for this video. Shaving against the grain is what's going to give you that nice, close, baby smooth head, but it can come with the risk of irritation and cuts. So to avoid that from happening, what we always want to do is make sure we start the shave by shaving with the grain. That way, you've minimized the amount of hair that you need to remove when you do shave against the grain, and of course, that means there's less chance that the blade is gonna potentially pull on any hairs. Also, in some cases, it is worth noting that some people might not be suited to shaving against the grain altogether, and this can be in the case when someone has sensitive skin on their scalp, you may just wanna stick to shaving with the grain in this case. Or better yet, if you find that blades don't suit you altogether, stick to the clippers. Number three, don't work for the blade, let the blade work for you. Okay, so let it be known that I'm very guilty of this. When you're new to head shaving, you may come in with a false perception that in order to get a close shave, you gotta press down on that blade in order for it to work. That is a one-way ticket to cut, lump, and raise a bomb city. Remember, it's a blade. You don't need to apply pressure with your hands in order for it to do the job. Look at it this way. Your hands are merely there to be a guide, to guide the blade along and nothing more. As long as you take your time and you guide the blade, it will do its job. Take it from a head shaving veteran like me. Never press that blade down. You wanna come out this shave looking baby smooth and fresh, but the last thing you want in return is a bunch of cuts and injuries. Trust me, you don't want to be about that life. I'm talking from experience here. I've caused myself some pretty horrid injuries in the past by being too forceful. Too many bumps, too many cuts. Thankfully not the case anymore. So yeah, your hand is the guide and let the blade do the work. Number four, keep that head hydrated and moisturized. Now this one is a big step to ensuring you not only get a close and smooth head shave, but that you also remain bump, burn, and injury free. The worst thing you can do is shave your head with a completely dry scalp, especially because some blades have no lubrication at all, so you always wanna make sure you apply something. A dry scalp is always gonna be more prone to reacting badly to a blade. So what can we use? You could use a shaving foam, a gel, you could even use hair conditioner, and in some cases, you could even apply an oil to get the job done. Some people find that different products work better than others and of course that is something that you'll discover over time. I've heard some guys say that shaving foam works best and then I've heard other guys say that shaving foam irritates the scalp and that hair conditioner works best. So my advice, experiment with different products, keep an open mind and of course over time you will find the product that works best for you. Number five, my final and most important tip today. This one is a little less practical and it's more to do with the mental side of hair loss and balding. What I want to say is if you're on this video because you've begun to embrace your hair loss or you're on the verge of shaving your head because the hair loss has taken that big of a toll, remember to go into this new transition of your life with an open mind, but most of all, a positive one. I know that's so easy for someone in my shoes to say, but man, I've been there. I know that hair loss sucks. I know that change sucks. I know the feeling of waking up, looking in that mirror and realizing, shit, 
I'm mortal. That is some scary shit. To wake up when you're young and to see this first sign of our mortality, it's scary. It's freaking scary. And embracing a new change at sometimes a very young age is the last thing we want to deal with. I was only 24 when I shaved my head for the first time. But I know that there's some guys out there as early as in their teens already going through this. So first and foremost, take it from me. You've got some boulder balls between your legs for even thinking about taking this change so early. So many guys will let hair loss eat away at them right into their middle age and sometimes they'll go their whole life not doing anything anything about it. And to me, that's the real death sentence. Not hair loss, not balding, but not doing shit about it, not trying to accept it. So I salute you for at least having the willingness to try, even if right now this change isn't so thrilling. What I always love to say is it takes one search on YouTube. One search to do with bald guys and I guarantee you, you will see so many positive examples of both bald men and women doing their thing, living their life to the fullest and not being a victim of this little trait that they've lost. The same goes on this channel. I'm here to show you that hair loss, balding, whatever the insecurity may be, it may be a hurdle, it may be a challenge to get over, but never should you let an insecurity or a fear dictate the way you live your life or how happy you are. And plus, the real blessing of hair loss in my opinion is the fact that we stop tying our identity into such small things. So many people tie their identity into their physical traits, their hair, their looks, their body type. But when you get hit with that brutal punch of mortality, it opens a door for you to look within yourself and discover who you really are. Beyond the hair, beyond the physical exterior. Anyway, that's all for today, but before I go, I want you guys to do me a favor, keep an eye on the channel. I've got a massive project that I've been working on behind the scenes, and I'm hoping to get it out next week. I really think that you guys are gonna enjoy it, so what I want you to do, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified when the video drops, all that good jazz. Other than that, I wish you well. Much love, and do hit me up if you have any further questions, I'm always there. Peace out, people.